All right, greetings everyone and welcome to our uh, founders meeting in the SBC community. I want to say hello to all those who are in India, uh, those who are in the Philippines, those who are in Dubai, those who are in the United States of America, of course, all those who are in Europe, not forgetting the entire continent of Asia, as well as Africa. Uh, we are so delighted to have all of you here, guys. It's usually a pleasure when it's uh, Wednesday at exactly 6 p.m. West African time. We are meeting all here, all right? So if you're just coming in new, you are highly welcome. Our community has metamorphosed from lots and lots of ups and downs. And today we are bouncing back gradually and even stronger. So I want to congratulate, of course, all those who are here. Special hello to all the members in the Privy Council, and uh, not forgetting all the ambassadors, all the leaders, and the entire SBC community. So guys, um, stay tuned. The admin is here. Of course, Admin Scott is here, and he has been waxing very, very strong in ever since he took over this community, and uh, we are getting better and better every day. You want to stay muted and stay uh, very, very uh, pure as we are going to have the updates for today. Uh, with our dear admin. Greetings to you, admin. Welcome. Greetings. Welcome, everyone, to our founders meeting for April uh, 17th, 2024. Thank you, MBA, for the introduction. We uh, we do have some really good news to announce today. Oh. Uh, we've had a uh, Privy Council meeting yesterday. Mm -hmm. So in that, we discussed uh, SBC Gold. We discussed some new... Uh, uh, subscription tiers, and I'm going to go over those uh, with us today. And uh, first thing I want to talk about is SBC Gold, because I know that a lot of people are uh, very, very interested to hear what this opportunity has to offer. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go through the dashboard real quick, and then we're going to go into the blog where there is a poster. Uh, there's not a blog yet, but there will be uh, by the end of today once I get my uh, details all squared away. So let me see, we're going to share go to the screen. Okay. All right. That is not, there we go. Okay. So on our dashboard, we now have, uh, 5327 as our active member count. Uh, the good news about our active member count is it seems to be going up on a daily basis. It might be two or three on a daily basis, but it's going up and it's not falling down. Um, I'm very proud of that. I hope that each and every one of us are proud of that as well. I wish that we could double that number. Uh, we could double it overnight if everyone had just found one uh, additional person to bring in. And hopefully with news of SBC Gold over the next uh, 30 to 60 days, um, you will find it very, very advantageous to do so. So uh, our current bounty share is uh, last month we had 1,644 and we have 1,610. Hopefully the uh, bounty share participants will go up this month. Uh, there are some changes to how we're going to be doing bounty share uh, for the next month. So I will explain that as well. Uh, it's a minor change, but it's a good one. Uh, it shouldn't really affect uh, any of the participants, uh, just it affects the non-participants. So without any further ado, I want to go into our blog and uh, go with our, uh, our new poster for SBC Gold, where you can earn, enhance, and expand this is your crypto, it's your choice, and it takes 90 days for us to gain. So what does this all mean? So in my previous blog, I've structured out how we are going to give you a, a stipend of SBC gold for your uh, SBC BO being paid. We've currently got it set that if you are paid before April 22nd of this month, then you will still receive SBC Gold on May 1st. So if you're a new member, get in by April 22nd and you'll receive SBC Gold this month. If you're a returning member, get in by April 22nd and you'll receive SBC Gold. Now, the requirement of SBC Gold in order to continue to receive it is to keep your account active. You cannot expire. You cannot have any lapse in your, in your account 
and you will receive that stipend of SBC gold each month, which uh, as we are planning and we're strategizing, uh, the, the way that, we are, that we're structuring the logistics of SBC gold is the price is going to be very well protected and it's going to be uh, very difficult to get on the exchanges, but it will be on the exchanges and every purchase of SBC gold on the exchanges is going to push our price up. Now we're looking at a starting price uh, that's going to be uh, relatively uh, on a low side. So maybe a 15, uh, 50 cents to a dollar is going to be the starting price of SBC gold, but that doesn't mean that we won't, uh, that we won't grow very quickly. Uh, our initial estimates are for an average of 30% each month on the, the growth of SBC gold. So there's, there's a lot of opportunity there, and we're going to give you the ability to uh, do an actual pre-sale. Uh, over the next couple of days, we're going to turn on our SBC Gold Exchange, where we're going to allow you to pre-sale, uh, do a pre-sale for SBC Gold. And for every $10, you will receive uh, that in SBC Gold. So I will put a blog together and how that will be structured and... Uh, you know, that's going to be something that we're going to we're going to offer up until May 1st. So we're going to give you about 10 days of opportunity to pre buy SBC gold. And uh, on the first month's deposit with your uh, with your first stipend deposit, that's also going to be deposited with uh, with your uh, with your pre buy. And uh, then after the first of the month, a couple of days will need to go by. So maybe by the fifth or maybe even the say we will give you the opportunity to buy SBC gold directly from us uh, at exchange prices able to buy it from the exchange but the amounts that you'll be able to buy on the exchange are going to be very very small uh, so in order for us to strategically and advantageously price SBC gold we are going to limit the supply of how much is actually on the exchanges so a lot of those details will come out. Um, I'm going to have a, a PowerPoint presentation put together, and I'm going to ask one of our esteemed members of the community if they would like to present on that, because uh, I'm not a very good presenter when it comes to, uh, you know, the logistics of uh, of cryptocurrencies. A lot of our members are very astute, and I don't want to sound like um, I know all of the details, the ins and outs. But once the presentation is ready and we put it out there. Uh, over the next couple of days here, uh, we'll get a video and we'll get a PowerPoint presentation that will give you all the, the details that you need so that you can take it back to your community and, uh, and address uh, any concerns or any, um, any interest in SBC Gold. So uh, the blog that I'm going to be posting later today is basically going to say this. Uh, all active members are going to receive a deposit of SBC Gold in their custodial wallets on the first of the or after the first of the month so we're not going to we're not going to guarantee that the deposit can happen on the first of the month and i'll tell you why that will be um it will not necessarily be the first of the month but it'll be the first the second or the third it'll be around the first of the month is when you receive your sbc gold deposit and one of those reasons is because sbc gold is going to be uh it's it's actually going to be a mined coin and the availability of those coins is going to be based on our mining schedule. So we have enough for our first deposit on a monthly, uh, on a monthly basis. So the, the first deposit for all of our paid members, we're going to be guaranteed to be able to do that. But the limitation of SBC Gold will be out there. And uh, as it mines, we'll be able to purchase it. We'll be able to bring it in and then distribute it. So uh, more details will be on that. I don't want to go into too many details. Uh, because I don't really know exactly how that structure works. But for the first month, we don't need to worry about that. But in the second month, the third month, and, and future months, the, uh, the SBC Gold Miner will be releasing a little bit of uh, coins into liquidity. And that is, uh, that's our strategic way of keeping our price up. So all that's required is for April of 2024 is to be active before the 22nd. And right after May 1st, you'll receive your first deposit of SPC Gold into your custodial wallet. So again, what is a custodial wallet? This is a wallet that is going to exist on the blockchain. Uh, it's going to be your wallet. You'll have the uh, public key to it, which is the wallet address. And that uh, public key 
will be posted in your SBCBO where you can go out on BSC scan and you can see the deposits and you can see the values of the uh, SBC gold in your wallet. So what the custodial wallet is going to do is it's going to hold on to your funds for 90 days and then a portion of those funds will mature. So if you take a look at the previous blog, it'll show you the schedule and how those funds will mature. And after uh, 90 days, you'll be able to withdraw one third of the first deposit. After the next uh, 30 days after that, you'll be able to withdraw the second third of the first deposit and the first third of the second deposit. And then by the, the third month of being able to withdraw, you'll be able to withdraw a whole entire deposit of SBC gold. Now that includes not just the stipend that SBC is giving you, but that includes your uh, your pre-buy amounts or any of the amounts that you buy from uh, SBC BO for putting it into your uh, custodial wallet. So each, uh, each pre-buy will put it into your custodial wallet. And then after 90 days, you'll be able to withdraw a portion of uh, what's been deposited. So that schedule is already in... Uh, is already in another blog, but I'll put it into this blog so that it's very clear. So uh, let me be clear on this. This is a crypto that you can earn just by making your SBCBO payment each month. And we will give you an opportunity to buy in uh, to SBC Gold before we fund it. Once we do, up until May 2nd, you'll be able to purchase SBC Gold and USDT in increments of $10. A portion of this is going to be deposited into your custodial wallet after the first of the month. And uh, this is going to be a one-time offer. No offer to buy SBC Gold will be offered after the funding of SBC Gold occurs uh, in, in a pre-buy uh, situation. So uh, you're going to be buying SBC Gold not at a fixed price, but whatever you, whatever you are, are putting into it. So if you put in $100, you'll receive $100 in SBC Gold. But the way that that's going to work is it's going to structure into your and then you'll be able to withdraw those funds as they mature. So this is only going to be good up until May first, as far as the uh, as far as the pre, pre buy goes, and then a couple of days afterwards we'll switch it over to a market based exchange. Or if you are SBC Gold, you'll be able to purchase it at an advantageous price from us. Whereas if you purchase it from the exchanges, it might be a little bit more expensive. Uh, so we're going to make that an opportunity for you. Again, more details are coming in a uh, in, in the presentation. So we're also going to give you the opportunity to uh, pay your SBC BO using SBC Gold. So if you have enough SBC Gold uh, for your monthly payment. You'll be able to make that payment and you will receive, uh, if the payment is split, USDT, say you do half in USDT and half in SBC Gold, uh, you will receive half of your, of your bounty in USDT and half of your bounty in SBC Gold. So bounties will be paid back in SBC Gold rather than the way that it was with Caleb where bounty was paid back in BSC. So we're trying to eliminate the necessary um, step of admin having to sell SBC gold to get uh, another another currency, and we're also eliminating the need for our members to sell their SBC gold in order to get USDT to pay their their uh, to pay their uh, SBC bo. So we're hoping that uh, all of our members are going to utilize SBC gold uh, within our own sphere of influence. But of course, as I said in our uh, slogan here, it's your crypto and it's your choice. So we're not going to prevent you from going out and selling it on the exchange, but we're going to give you an opportunity so that you don't have to. You won't need to. Um, and again, one, the other thing to, uh, to remember what we're trying to work it on for our uh, potential growth is a 35% uh, growth each month on SBC Gold. So you can imagine that that would go very quickly over the course of uh, over the course of a month. Um, we're going to put the chart together for that, and that's our estimated, uh, you know, our estimated targets. Okay, so let's break down what earn, enhance, expand, 
uh, means. So earn is for each month of uh, your SBC BO that you're that you're paid for and you're not expiring, you're going to receive an admin deposit of SBC gold. And when the funds mature after 90 days, you can do with it as you wish. Enhance, we're going to give you the pre-sale of SBC gold that will be available for at least 10 days uh, before May, the, before the end of May 1st, uh, when we will shut off the pre-sale, we will fund SBC gold, and then uh, then it will be eventually available as something that you can you buy SBC gold with USDT at whatever uh it, it below market price. So the market price will be out there on, uh, you know, on the pancake swap. So let's just say the market price is 75 cents per coin. You'll be able to buy it advantageously from us for maybe 65 cents or 50 cents per coin. So there's going to be an opportunity there. And, uh, and don't hold me to these prices on these coins. These are just uh, numbers that I'm throwing out there is, you know, starting prices. When Bitcoin started, it started very low. So, uh, and it took a little while for it to grow into the behemoth that it is, but every coin starts off a little bit, a little bit on the low side. Uh, Caleb might've started at, um, I don't, I don't know exactly what Caleb started at, but I know that it was funded with very little, very little amount of money. And, um, once it started to get diluted and there was, there was a lot of the coin out there, then it was a problem. So we're going to limit how much of SBC gold is available on the exchanges. We're going to try and keep that internally, and we're going to try and do this one really smart. So uh, that's the enhanced side, and then expand. So with each month, the price of SBC gold is intended to grow. Your custodial wallet is going to flourish with potential. And part of the reasons why we're holding on to the coins in your custodial wallet is because we will be giving it the opportunity to grow. So this is not something that, uh, you know, don't, don't get into SBC gold because you want to be able to cash out in an instant. That's not going to be an option. SBC gold is going to teach you proper hodl functions, proper uh, investment techniques. And as we get further into the usage of SBC gold, you're going to see its potential. Um, again, there are other people that are more capable of, of explaining that. And uh, I'm going to give them the opportunity to do so. So scarcity is going to keep this price uh, advantageous, and uh, being able to get it through us is going to keep it uh, is going to keep it well within um, you know proper controls. And lastly, uh, again, I had mentioned SBC Gold is going to be uh, it's going to mine, it's going to trickle into the markets, and more details will come of this a little bit later. So as we uh, look forward to the opportunity of SBC Gold, the takeaways from this are the pre-sale will be going up soon uh, for $10 increments of SBC Gold or USDT, you'll receive your SBC Gold. It will be deposited into uh, your custodial wallet. The first third will go into the first month, the second third will go into the second month, and the third will go into the final month. So by the end of the three months, when you're able to withdraw from your custodial wallet, you'll have the value in your in your wallet. Uh, you'll be able to withdraw one third of the value of that wallet in the uh, in the initial uh, in the initial first part there, and then it continues going on through the structure to the point where you'll be able to withdraw um, all of uh, a entire month's deposit as as we go on. So our initial stipend from SBC is going to be relatively um, modest. Uh, and I don't know if I want to say modest, I would say, I guess, I guess modest can be, can be looked at in two different, two different ways. I, I want to say that the SBC gold stipend, uh, the, the, the admin deposit, isn't going to be uh, something that you're going to be able to take on the first month and pay your SBC uh, BO with. Don't think that that's going to be the case. Uh, we're not offering that. That's not going to be the case. And in uh, in our strategy, the intention would hopefully be that by the end of the maturation process, your uh, your SBC wallet will have grown um, thirty percent for each month, thirty thirty five percent somewhere in there. Um, I don't have the numbers in front of me, and I can't do the quick math. But um, again, this will be in a chart when we're going forward. So SBC Gold 
uh, the pre-buy starts uh, in, I'm hoping by Friday or Saturday, and it will go to the end of the day on May 1st. Then we're going to shut down the pre-buy. We're going to fund SBC Gold, and then uh, it will be available on the markets. And then it will also uh, start to get deposited as your stipend. And then as your, uh, as your pre-buy will start to come into your wallet. Um, so I think that that's pretty much all I've got for SBC Gold right now. Um, so I'm welcome to hear any questions or comments uh, in the Q&A. So I'm going to go ahead and move on to our next topic. And uh, then we will um, then we'll go into the Q&A here in a moment. So um, our next topic is going to be on the topic of shared bounty in SBC Lite. So currently we have um, we have two tiers, SBC Lite, where you pay 16 USDT and there you're gonna receive the rewards, you're gonna receive the SBC Gold, uh, you're eligible to receive referrals and, and whatnot, uh, rewards, uh, new member rewards, referral rewards but you don't receive any bounty. Uh, our previous system was that uh, you would work today and get paid today. So you would, uh, your, your referral would pay $32 and uh, the sponsor would receive $16 in an instant bounty and uh, $16 goes to the admin, admin fee. We're going to bring that back. Uh, so we're going to have three different tiers. There will be SBC Lite for $16, where rewards are paid. Just everyone receives the same rewards. Uh, and then there's going to be SBC Full, which is what we're calling SBC. Uh, we're calling SBC Full what we're doing right now, but we're going to change that to SBC Share. So SBC Full will allow you to go back to the original bounty structure where you as a uh, sponsor will receive uh, fifty percent of the. Uh, you, you receive the the instant bounty of sixteen dollars, and uh, then we're going to have SBC Share, which is going to be our current share program, where you'll receive uh, as a sponsor ten dollars in instant bounty, and then six of uh, those dollars goes into the bounty pool. So we're going to make that uh, an option that's available uh, on. May 6th, so starting with the new cycle, the new bounty cycle, we're gonna close out uh, this current cycle. And then on May 6th, you're gonna have the option for SBC Lite, uh, SBC Full, and SBC Share. Uh, again, there will be a blog about that today and uh, the details will be there, uh, making sure that you know to pay attention to the May 6th date. Now, my recommendation to our members uh, is to not wait if you want to switch to a different bounty program. Uh, don't wait and don't have your account expire because if your account expires, you're not gonna be able to receive the SPC Gold. So keep that in mind, SPC Gold will not be going to any inactive account. It just, that's, we, we won't be doing that. So um, it doesn't matter whether your account was paid up until uh, you know a minute before and then expired. When the uh, payouts happen, if your account's not paid, you're not gonna receive SBC Gold. There's just not gonna be any way for us to, um, to allow for that to happen. So if you want SBC Gold, make your account active by April 22nd and keep it active continually. Don't let it lapse, okay? Um, so if you want to move to the uh, SBC full platform, there's no reason why you can't do SBC uh, shared for the rest of this month, and then you'll get your uh, $10 in instant bounty, and then uh, move to the SBC full program in the next uh, in the next cycle. So I'll make that uh, kind of clear in the blog uh, when I put that put that out there. So watch for that. That's going to be uh, that's going to be there today. Uh, I'll make sure I post it in the Telegram group. Okay, so those are our SBC tiers. And then uh, I want to go into our SBC reward schedule. So let everybody know what we're doing for rewards. 
So you've got your membership reward. This is the 1000 SBC just for being an active member. So all members are going to receive 1000 SBC. Uh, a new member reward. If you're brand new to the community, you're going to receive uh, 1000 SBC uh, plus the 1000 SBC for being an, uh, an active member. So you'll receive 2000 SBC. That is a one time uh, a one time benefit. Uh, our new members a reward for the sponsors. Uh, again, the sponsor will receive a thousand for each of their new referrals. They will get that uh, uh, only for one time. And then number four is our on-time reward. So another thousand for making your payment on time uh, without having it expire. Or if your share bounty program says that your payment is due a different day than you actually expire, the share bounty program date is the one that you want to be uh, paying attention to. That keeps you active in the share bounty um, and we, we were rewarding you for that. So that's a thousand plus it's a 1.0 uh, of SBFC. Um, one other thing to remember is our SBC liquidity pool is up to 710. So we're just $290 away from opening up the uh, the SBC, uh, SBFC exchange for USDT. And uh, we'll, we'll be ready for that uh, right about the time that that does actually happen. So back to our last reward. Back to our last reward. Number five uh, is SBC returning members. So uh, if you are a returning member that expired before January uh, 1st of 2024, you're eligible to receive a returning reward of 2000 SBC. Now, the way that this 2000 SBC works is that uh, you have to be active for one month and then the second month. So on your second month, you'll receive, uh, you'll, re you'll be receiving the 1000 SBC for having a, an active account and then after you've been active for two more months, then you'll receive another 2000. That's twice the bonus that the, the, the new members are receiving. So we're encouraging our, uh, our old members to come back. So for example, if member Catherine expired in October of 23, she comes in and pays in April of 2024. And then on May of 2024, then Catherine receives 2000 SBC as a one-time bonus along with the 1000 SBC that she received for April and May. So this is going to give you a total of 4,000 SBC for remaining active. So they'll receive 1,000 in the first month, 1,000 in the second month, and 2,000 after the second month for being a returning member. And then lastly, SBC Gold. Um, all accounts that have not expired uh, after you make your payment after uh, or before April 22nd and keep your account active going further. You'll receive the May deposit, the June deposit, the July deposit, the August deposit, the September deposit. Just keep your account active. And the chart here shows the schedule and how um, all of these uh, rewards are working. So keep in mind that the rewards are building towards our SBC private fund. One of the reasons why I'm giving decent rewards to new members and decent rewards to returning members is because if they've missed out on the opportunity that SBC has to offer over the last um, nine months or so, then they, they don't know what we're building towards and they need to get caught up. They need to get uh, educated on what we're doing for this, uh, for our 10,000 membership drive. Once we get to the membership drive of 10,000, then we start our legal structure, we start our legal structure, and then that's when the clock starts ticking. Once our legal structure is fully completed and accepted and the SBC private bank is funded, then those members that are part of our community at that time move into being able to use the SBC private fund. Members that come after that are going to have to go through an education process. Uh, that education process will also earn them rewards. And during those rewards that they're earning, that will help build their, their financial stability uh, using the SBC fund. So those are the details that I wanted to go over today. I'm sure that our members have quite a few questions. Uh, I was able to keep my presentation down to 30 minutes. 
So I'm going to turn it back over to Embe, and I'm going to let our questions happen. If any of our Privy Council members want to speak first, this would be a good time, and then we can go into mm -hmm. a, uh, a structured Q&A. All right. Thank you, everyone, and uh, we'll continue on. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Admin. I think uh, that is a very good roadmap. Uh, people need to even watch this uh, particular video over and over again because I mean, has given us a roadmap. So we have um, the yam and the knife. <laughs> All right. So we I can see the hands of uh, Alexander. Hello, Alexander. You cannot mute now. Hello, good evening, admin, good evening, entire community, and good evening, Mr. Inve. Good evening. Hello. Yeah. Good evening. Um, anyway, admin, um, thank you very much for your wonderful work, and thank you very much for your always caring and your big concerning for the community. Um, anyway, admin, I talked through from my through my, from my big positive mindset, that we, we, those, we have already have a positive mindset. So what is going on and what you are doing for us. And we know that very soon, things is going to be changed. And that things which is going to be changed is going to be changed for our entire life, uh, forever and ever. What am I saying in this? In, we are the, one of the African group the Af Af African SBC group. Um, I think um, since yesterday, since three days to now, until now, there is a lot of so many complaining and so many criticized people, including us. And then, as soon as we are, they are trying to fight him with us in the in the group. They are so trying what are you to... doing in the group? I think uh, admin has addressed this. Shouldn't be bringing this over and over again. Um, what are you doing in the negative group? That's a question I have for you before the admins come on board. What are you doing in the negative group? Uh, it's our group. We ask them to remove themselves from the group. Because why we can't have... you remove them? If it is your group and you are the admin of the group, why can't you kick them out? Yeah, this is even what I'm trying to talk to one of our big leaders, that they should close the group, other they will remove them. So, so you have to talk that in private. I don't know why you're bringing that here, because if you have a negative group, you have no reason to be in that group. You, you sure. should be in a group where there is construction, where people talk ideas and how to move forward. People who just yeah. sit and they are doing nothing. They are not doing anything to help the community, but they want magic yeah. to happen uh, from heaven. I don't know. By the time they know it, our legal structure is set up and we will have a lot of benefits coming on board. This is SBC Gold that is here. Everybody's going to benefit from that. So I think that we have addressed this over and over again. I see no reason why you should be in. I remove myself from all the groups yeah. that were negative. I, you need to keep your sanity so that yeah. you can be able to think because as you, they say, show me your friend and you definitely know who you are. So if you want to join and be in a group that is full of negativity, you definitely become one someday, somehow, you know. So yeah. to keep sanity, go away from those groups. If, if the admin are, are not doing their job in the various groups, leave the group. It's that simple. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, admin. Thank you, admin. And this is thank you very much. I we will do this. Thank you very much. All right. Admin, you want to add something? Yeah. Uh, so I, I understand that there's a lot of negativity out there, and a lot of the negativity is is something that uh they're just plain wrong about. They don't know what they're talking about, they're not being properly educated, they're just being bitter to be bitter. Uh, maybe they had a bad experience with uh, with a previous leader or a previous member, or maybe they just didn't like something that the previous admin did. All of that's over with, and we're putting that behind us. And uh, all you really need to do when you're when you're addressing members that have negativity or start talking about the old times or the old ways or the old things is just shut them down. 
shut them down, remove them from your group. Uh, the Telegram group is properly moderated in our group on the Telegram side, uh, the official group. If somebody comes in and starts spouting, uh, you know, uh, rhetoric of uh, of the past or or gets uh, gets a little uppity about things that are really not relevant to being constructive, we'll delete their posts. And if they continue, then they get booted from the group. That's just the you just have to set some ground rules when you're having your own private discussions. Now, I I'm not telling you not to have your own groups, and I'm not telling you not to. Uh, to communicate with your your private community in, in the way that you see fit. But what I'm just advising you is, is the best way to uh, moderate your groups. If someone comes in and is, is saying something that you know not to be true and that they're, uh, they're being in conflict with the message that you're trying to deliver, the simple thing to do is delete their post. And if they proceed further, remove them from your group. That's the easiest way to go. But thank you for your comments. Okay, MB. Okay, so we'll take uh, the next person, Jerry John. Hello, good evening, admin. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I congratulate admin for what he's doing for us, and then uh, secondly, I'll encourage everybody. To mind his business. Uh, I'm I'm saying this concern about the the guy who spoke just right now. I'm in the same group with him, but past uh, four months now, I did not mind the group. I always saw the messages you put because I did not concern. I'm doing it for save me. I'm not watching somebody what he's going to do. To be a rich is uh, is in your hand. To be a poor is in your hand. So I only encourage him if he cannot remove himself from the group then he should be quiet on the group whatever the state if you mind his business you got the leaders and the group but no one is speaking but the, those who are saying the negative things they are saying it for themselves because if you cannot uh, come to the meeting and say what is worrying you and you're, you're saying in the group i never see any uh, reason why you uh, brought that up into that meeting so I will ask the guy to come down and follow his positive mind, not the negative mind. Thank you, Admin. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Let's not let's not focus on uh, any of the negativity that's coming out there. That's not constructive. We're here to talk about our SBC goal. We're here to talk about our SBC rewards, our private fund, and our membership our membership opportunities. Let's uh, let's focus on that, and let's not focus on. Uh, the political structure of other of other groups and things of that nature. But thank you again. All right, we got the one more. Scholar, I mean, uh, the last one, uh, the lion, Valerie. All right. Good evening, admin. I hope I'm coming out clear. Five on five. You are. Oh, thank you. All right, I mean, first of all, we want to congratulate all the efforts, all the ideas that are running into your mind now to try to get up to the level that we need to deserve, where we can have all the structure going very well. So it's fantastic. At least it makes somebody feel good when we have ideas that are new, that, are, that can bring back hope. So the idea, uh, the question that I will have now is to know about uh, the, the rule that was set for SBC Lite, when somebody pays for two months as SBC Lite member, he can go to the SBC shared bounty if it's uh, paid for three months as a Lite member. Does that rule still stand? And now that there will be on May 6 a new uh, tier of full, shared, and light. What is the, when somebody received a 50% commission, is it going to be part of the shared bounty too? So that is the question that I want okay. to Okay. All right, let me go ahead and address your, your, your our question. Our yeah. Our other members to try really, really to know that that word positive, positive is a word that is very, very creative. Creative. It's not just a slogan to be saying that to be, we need to be positive, but it is really, really, really a creative world as we are 
still negative, we are creating something bad for our posterity. Thank you. All right, thank you. So let me address your concerns. Uh, first of all, the SBC Light program, uh, if you are participating in the SBC Light program and you want to move into the shared program, uh, what, what's gonna happen, the, the, the minor change that I was saying as far as the shared program goes is that uh, we're gonna stop holding your slots. So if you don't participate in the share bounty program, you're gonna lose your slot, you're gonna lose your, your space where you're at. Um, it's going to put you back at the end of the of, of the matrix. So uh, in our first run of the matrix, uh, our first run of the SBC shared program, there was, uh, well, it wasn't our first run. It was our second run. Uh, let me mute you out there uh, so we can keep the sound down. So in our first, uh, our first run of the, of the share program, um, it, it came out with, uh, a lot of members that decided that they didn't want to participate in the shared bounty program in the second month. So the November run through December and then the December through January on January, that's when a lot of our members decided that they didn't like the, they didn't like the process because they didn't understand that it takes some time to, to earn yourself up there. So the position that you were in, in the matrix, um, left a whole bunch of holes in the matrix. So there was a whole bunch of holes, and uh, the bounty share didn't get to where it needed to go because it wasn't being distributed evenly. So what's gonna happen? program, you can purchase months in ahead. Uh, all right, there, MBA's back. So uh, yeah. when when you're participating in the SBC light program or the SBC full program that's coming, uh, coming on May 1st or May 5th, you'll be able to do advanced payments at that point in time. So we're going to make it so that you can do advanced payments again. Now, shared bounty, you still cannot do advanced payments. So make sure that you understand that. Um, again, that'll be in the blog that I'm going to put out there. Uh, I'll make sure that I make a note that, uh, you know, the advanced payments are, are talked about. Uh, so, Embe, while you were, were disconnected, um, I answered the question about, um, about what happens with uh, members who are not in the uh, – who, who have – fallen off of the shared bounty program. So uh, what we're doing with the shared bounty program is we're gonna compress the shared bounty program so that all the members that are participating in it aren't actually in the matrix and that will make everybody's spot move up as, uh, as, the, as the new cycle comes. Okay. Uh, the last question that, uh, that he had was in regards to uh, combined uh, tiers. We are not combining any of the tiers. So if you go from SBC full to SBC shared, if you go early or whatever, whatever tier you're in is the reward you're going to receive. So you will not be, you're not going to get any, any combined, uh, any combined tiers or anything like that. Uh, the rewards program is the same. Doesn't matter what tier you're in, you're all getting the same rewards. Uh, it's just whether or not it's, it's how your bounty works is depends on your, on your tier. So SBC light, no bounty. SBC full, 50-50 bounty, and then SBC share, uh, it's the 10 uh, instant and $6 to the share. That's how the bounty structure works. All the other rewards are the same no matter which tier you're in. Did you have any further questions on that one? You can go ahead and unmute. Valerie, you want to unmute? All right, thank you for the time of explanation, admin. So. Yeah. To recap what you said, I know the SBC Light member won't receive any uh, shared bounty. Now, the member that are in the shared bounty will receive the shared bounty. But now, the people that will be on the SBC full, they are not qualified for shared bounty, right? Correct. They are not. Yeah. Okay. They'll, they'll be getting the instant bounty, and none of their bounty goes towards the share, which means that they won't receive any of the share. Okay. Thank yeah. you, Admin. We uh, we believe, we believe, we believe. 
right. Yeah. All righty. <laughs> I think that's that, Admin. That's it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, we've got Augustine that would like to say something. We go ahead and. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. I'm sorry I, I raised my hand up at this point. It's just a, it's just a thought that I've flashed into my mind. First of all, I want to extend my greetings to everyone, beginning with CJ and admin and the rest of the house. Good evening from my end. Um, before the last administration handed over to this present administration. He told me something. He said that there is a reason why we are called the Simply Brilliant Community. And that we want to do things the way our creator originally wanted it to be. That we've been drifting out of the original plan of God for over 100 years from when the gold back system was removed. And I want to return the world into an abundance through that gold back system. And that it's not, our final game is not the gold back system. This is Admin Jack when he was talking to me. Now, the administration present, Admin Scott, it's like they went to the same secondary school and they're all in the same WhatsApp group. Permit me to use that word. They think alike. That's what I'm trying to say. Now, I'm particular about this SBC gold. I want to crave the indulgence of those that are present and those that will watch this video. Think like a brilliant person. This community thinks from a different perspective. If you will thrive at the present short term and long term, think like a brilliant person. Now, why I'm saying so is because by December, based on what the administration has said, our value monthly will appreciate between 30 and 35%, if I heard right. It's going to yes. create exponential growth by mm -hmm. December. Now, it starts by May. And when you picture, admin doesn't need to give us the rundown. Um, those who understand basic mathematics, this is exponential growth. At, from, at some point, it will double, and then at some point, it quadruples, and it goes into exponential. Don't sell your coins in the market. The bottom line of all these things I'm saying is emphasizing on not selling your coins in the market. In as much as the administration is doing everything, to make sure that we see it as a household coin. Please let us align with him. Now, we want to make it such that SBC Gold becomes the envy of the world. That's what we want to do. Whether it's going to exist on the market, coin market, I don't know. And I don't really care. But SBC my coin Gold will exist on the coin markets. Beautiful. Now, from what the administration has just said, he wants this community to be the envy of the world within the next one, two, three years. And I'm going to explain very briefly how it's going to be. As long as the world is wanting to have SBC gold, we make it so little in the market. And the truth is that when it's going to exist in the market, the market guys will not know, those who are not members in this community because the administration will announce it just like he has made the feedback in these meetings. Those who don't attend founders meetings will never have an idea of how to take advantage of the scarce ones that he will place in the market. And like he has said, it's going to drive the price up each time people try to get it. So when this happens, the people will ask themselves, why is this coin so going up? I will never have an opportunity to buy it. And they would always want to come to find out where the source is. And where is the source? It's in our community. I won't be surprised in the next one year from now, that SBC gold, 
the price will be mind boggling. I don't know what's going to be, but it's going to be mind boggling. And within a short while, just a very short while, 12 months, the price would have been some, I mean, huge. And in two years time, it will be so huge. The only place to get it is from our community. That's one. Two, let's be warned. Because if we choose to do it our way, and a very good number of people choose to violate their instructions, remember that the administration has the key. He can decide to sanction you in his own way. One. Two, the intent of SBC Gold is to prepare us for the banking system. Let it not be that before the banking system, we have reduced the supply because we feel we have a reasonable chunk. That's pennywise, pound foolish. Let's not go about it that way. Now, when the banking system comes in, sorry, let me go out. When the banking system comes in, this is how it's going to operate. People now see that, oh, there is a pilot program running. And the number of people who run for the pilot program, for instance, are 30,000. I tell you that in one month, when people have seen that you can actually convert your SBC to, to li liquid cash in our currency, our community can quadruple in one month. So if we are 30,000, for instance, in one month, we are 100,000. The following month, we are 500,000. Now, at that point, he may have placed a little embargo on people not selling in the market. But you know what would have happened at that point? The demand would have become too much that if the little people left, which were 30,000, choose to sell it off, the demand will override the supply such that people will rush it when it's in the market. One, two, the price will be so high that the selling in the market at that point won't really matter because everybody's concern then is no more in SBC good, but in the banking system. It's a plan. It's a well thought out plan. So between now and whenever the banking system will launch, please discipline yourself, don't sell. Rather do peer to peer. The Telegram group is there. Admin has other plans. I don't know all his plans, but he has very good plans. Delay gratification. Once we finish this concept of uh, the banking, you know, we build out our legal structure and all that, the app is ready and we do a first test run, second test run. At that point, if you see the membership growing that numbers and you want to sell, there will be no penalty at that point. But if you do it too early, you are hurting us and admin will not allow that. So this is just what I want to say. Let's make this thing happen. We have this year alone. By next year, a lot of things will happen. And I don't want the elites to catch up with us. I don't want them to be one step ahead of us. I want us to be 10 times ahead of them and we have what it takes. Please, let's put our heads together and let's make this happen. So this is just what I wanted to say. Thank you. I'm signing out. All right, thank you and amen. <laughs> All right. Vision. All right. Admin, do you still All right. another one? Uh, let's, we can take one more as long as it's a question and not a statement. So yeah, let's find brief. out. Uh, yeah. So if it's a, if it's a question ish, uh, like a question about SPC gold, then let's answer that question. Uh, so go ahead, uh, Gabriel. Thank you, Admin. Thank you, Chief Justice Mbe, my Ambassador Augustine. Well, well done, and every member. Yeah, my question is just simple and straight. Now that the SBC full is restored to take 50%, I want to know if it's possible for us and other lines to start making advanced payments like three months, six months, or one year. Yes. For whoever yeah, when, is when, the share, SBC yeah. full. When That's you, just my question. When you select, uh, so this is not going to be until May 5th or May 6th. Uh, on May 6th, yeah. you'll be able to select SBC Lite, and then you'll be able to select the number of months you want to pay in advance. And then also, you'll be able to select SBC Gold and the number of months you want to pay in advance. Or, and I, I'm sorry, SBC Full. The only one that okay. will not allow you to pay in advance is for the SBC Shared. 
So that will be a part of the uh, part of the opportunity at that time. Uh, so advanced payments will be will be back specifically for uh, anyone that's not participating in the share program. We are going to work on a way for the share program to be allowed uh, to to allow our members to do SBC uh, shared uh, in an advanced payment, but um, that requires us setting up. Uh, multiple different accounts for each month that they're paid for. So it's, it's a little bit more complex for us to segregate those funds. So that's why we just don't want to do that at this time. But uh, the light program and the SBC full program will allow you to do advanced payments uh, starting on uh, May 6th. So yes. Good. Good. Thank you. Thank All you. right. Thank you. <clears throat> Okay, let's wrap it up. Yes. <laughs> All right, I think, um, Admin, we believe in what we are doing here. And uh, I think Admin Jack used to say that uh, belief is more powerful than knowledge. <laughs> so... Uh, <laughs> I, I would agree with that. <laughs> Maybe we should just end the meeting today by saying that belief is more powerful than knowledge. Of course, um, in remembrance Absolutely. of Jack. <laughs> yeah, I I agree. That's uh, that's a good uh, that's a good closer. All right, um, ladies and gentlemen, I think uh, we can uh, all unmute now and say belief is more powerful than knowledge. I'll mute everyone. Believe is believe, more powerful. Believe than is more powerful. Than believe believe powerful. is more powerful. Believe is more powerful than believe. 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 Believe.